Hello guys, welcome to your sixth Python programming tutorial. Today we're going to be going over strings because strings are really important. Um, you may not realize it now, but when you get into your programming, when you start programming your own programs, you're going to use like a billion strings and you'll be like, Luke, you were right, strings are important. And then you're going to realize, okay, the world is around and I know that strings are important. All right, to get started, we're going to make three variables. First variable is going to be called first, second is going to be called last, and the other one's going to be called age. Now age, or first, is going to be equal to raw input, and my inside your parameters, add a string of text. Uh, last is going to be the same thing, raw input. Inside your parameters, add strings of text. And age is equal to raw input. Oops, input. All right, and inside your parameters, add some more quotation marks. All right, so it should look like this right now. Uh, for first, just do my first, inside your quotation marks, my first name is last, my last name is, and for age, and I'm only blank. All right, so now we have three variables, and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog bark, three variables and they're asking for the user's input. Now, we can just basically, to, con to join strings, all you have to do is print, um, I I've done this in tutorials before, print out, um, hi, I'm, and then end your string plus first plus last plus, and I'm currently, sounds like a dating website plus age all right so there you go uh, it's just basic printout function uh, it should work you can see it's going to print out after you've done filling out the survey Bob Joe so his name is Bob Joe and I'm only 89 hi I'm Bob Joe and I'm all right now the reason it looks all conjoined like that is because I didn't add spaces so you can do plus like that that way it's gonna look nice alright there you go so run this and it's gonna look nice Bob Joe 89 there you go hi I'm Bob Joe and I'm currently 89 blah 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 alright so next we can go over strings um, uh, what's another form of strings that I can teach you uh, hold that thought for one all right, I'm sorry about that. I had to go make sure nothing broke. Uh, that's not the point. Anyways, point is, is now we can, uh, just to show you one more thing on strings, let's say print uh, Luke. Oh, wait, why am I printing out Luke? What the heck? That's my name. Okay, first, <laughs> I don't, it's it's funny how the brain works. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. All right, print out first. So it's going to print out the first name. Said. All right, now... To add quotes inside of your quotation marks, you can add single quotes, but that doesn't look nice. Uh, what you can do is you can do a backslash quote and then type in. So it's going to say, Bob said, I hate you. And then backslash quote. Now, the reason you add a backslash is because if you take out this backslash, take out those, next thing you know, okay, you've got your first quotation marks in there and you have an extra pair of quotation marks right there so what this does is it allows you to add quotation marks inside of quotation marks thank you for watching make sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want uh comment if you have any questions uh see you guys later